Thank you for choosing Kaspersky Lab products and support. In this example, we're going to use the Kaspersky Administration Kit to deploy Kaspersky Antivirus and Network Agent. First, pull up the Administration Kit. Let's proceed directly to the Task for Specific Computers menu item. On the right-hand side under Task Management, select Create a Task. This will launch the new task wizard, which will allow us to create a new task. Let's give it a name. In this example, we're going to bundle both the Kaspersky Antivirus for Windows workstations along with the network agent. Select Next, and you're taken to the Task Type screen. At the very top, under the Kaspersky Administration Kit menu tree, there's an Application Deployment menu. Select that and hit Next. Under the Installation Package Selection menu, let's find our Kaspersky Antivirus 6.0 for Windows Workstations MP4. Verify the correct version number. Once you highlight it, hit Next. We're going to stick with the default deployment type of Push Install. In the New Task Wizard, we will not use Network Agent. This is because Network Agent is not installed yet. Another useful feature is the assigned package installation in the Active Directory Group Policies. By checking this, the Kaspersky Administration Kit will create a Group Policy object to install the Network Agent. On this window, you have the opportunity to select an additional installation package. We want to install Network Agent along with Kaspersky Antivirus. Check the Install Network Agent box at the top and then select the network agent package that you'll be deploying. Typically the version of network agent matches the version of the administration kit. Let's select next. Select one of the options to restart your computer. We recommend you give your users a warning before you reboot their machine. If it's going to be an unattended machine, you can select restart the computer. You can even modify the message that appears and the prompts as well as force a restart. To force closing applications in block sessions for the restart, check this box. We're going to leave the defaults here. Under the computer relocation screen, you have the opportunity to move the machines that you're deploying Kaspersky Antivirus and Network Agent to to different groups. By default, the Managed Computers group is selected. To select another group, hit the Select button, expand the Manage Computers tree, and specify an existing group or create a new group. We're going to stick with the pre-existing group here. Hit Next. Under the Select Target Computer screen, you can deploy Kaspersky Antivirus and Network Agent either using Windows Networking for machines the Administration Kit has already discovered, or you can assign IP, DNS, or NetBIOS parameters. Let's stick with Windows Networking and hit Next. Find the target machine you'll be deploying Kaspersky Antivirus along with the Network Agent 2. If you haven't moved that machine from the Unassigned Computers bucket, expand Unassigned Computers. If it already has been moved into the Managed Computers bucket, or you want to redeploy Kaspersky Antivirus, select under Managed Computers. In this example, we've already moved our target machine to the new group group that was defined earlier. Make sure you check the box and hit Next. If the Kaspersky Administration Kit is running with Domain Administrator Rights, you don't need to specify an account. Otherwise, click the Add button and specify an account which has rights to install software on the target machines. You can schedule this install task to run periodically to run manually, to run once, or you can chain it with other tasks. We're going to run it manually here. Click Finish to close the wizard. The new task will appear and it will be ready to run. When you're ready, simply click Run the task. This process may take a number of minutes. To view detailed results, click on the View Detailed Results menu, or watch the status of the progress bar.
after the network agent and Kaspersky antivirus installation task completes, the admin kit will report that the installation was successful and is waiting for a reboot. After the machine is rebooted, the administration kit will report that Kaspersky antivirus and network agent were installed successfully. This concludes our tutorial on remotely installing Kaspersky antivirus and network agent using the administration kit. For additional support options, please contact Kaspersky Lab America's corporate support. You can access our knowledge base 24 hours a day, submit a web ticket, chat with a support engineer, or call our support center during normal hours of operation. Thank you for choosing Kaspersky Lab.